I think it's pretty obvious at this point, too, what they're going to be doing. Yeah, looks like they'll be drafting um, an eighth grader uh, <laughs> and Zach Wilson. No, I'm kidding. And I look like I'm 15 as well, so I understand his struggles there. Uh, Zach Wilson is uh, projected to be the next pick here for the Jets. Uh, have you watched a lot of tape on him, and do you feel like this is a good pick for the Jets? Well, first off, there's not a lot of tape on him. I mean, he's been a quarterback for, what, a year? So I'm very skeptical. I mean, played at BYU. Um, I don't know. I don't know. He's a big question mark to me. I probably would have been taking fields here. Um, yeah. Again, I have not watched a lot of film on Zach Wilson. What I do is I just look at everybody else's mock drafts and then base my opinion off of that, just like everybody else. <laughs> And here we go. Again, our TV right here is a little bit behind, but we've got the feed going in. Um, again, no audio, but uh, Zach Wilson is officially the selection. I feel like Sam had very high expectations. So, you know, going through a few years with Sam, you know, like, is the organization, are the fans, like, are they just, like, sick of losing? Like, they want Zach to go in there and just light it up? Like, what do you think yeah. the expectation is for him? I think the expectation, yeah, it is going to be to light it up. And New York Jets fans are very, very harsh. Not as harsh as like maybe like the Philadelphia Eagles, but they would love to see their, their football team eventually win one day. And hopefully they believe that Zach Wilson is going to be that guy that's going to help them uh, turn this franchise around. Uh, you're going to have to get some weapons. Denzel Mims uh, and Corey Davis probably won't do it, it enough. Jameson Crowder as well on top of that list, but um, you need a tight end. You need more weapons. Uh, they brought in Tevin Coleman to be a running back, but again, you're picking number 23. You could go down the route of uh, getting a defensive player like you need desperately. We actually, in my mock draft, I have them getting Aziz Ojolari from Georgia, but you could also go down the route of maybe Najee Harris, Travis Etienne, a lot of options. Is it me or does it feel like the Jets choose a, a defensive tackle every single single year in the first round? Yeah, Quinnen Williams seems like he was <laughs> the last two picks for the. Uh... Yeah, I mean, what a stud though! <laughs> I mean, yeah. you, oh, you got yeah. your guy on the defensive line there. I mean, you also need some edge help. Bless you, thank you. 